In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your Next.js project to the Firebase. It is very simple and easy and straightforward. So let's begin. I will start from creating a Next.js project. So in my terminal, I will run the command npx create dash next dash app at latest and project name Firebase Next.js space and example space blog starter. Press enter. So press Y. It will create a Next.js project with the starter template that we would use to deploy. <coughs> All right, the project has been installed. Now let's go to the project by using a cd command and open it in vs code or in your favorite editor once it is opened in your editor we will run the project in the browser by running the command npm run dev okay the project is ready now let's click on that and open it in the browser okay the project has been loaded you can see this is the simplest block that we can see here you can click on the articles and they will load it in this way so this is very simple project now let's build it so we have to open the next.js export file but if it does not exist then you can add it by your own and in your file there has to be the output export option added in the next config variable okay now let's try to build it we may face some issues while building but let's see what happens so run the command npm run build all right the project has been generated so now we got a folder called out and within that we have index.html okay now it's time to initialize the uh, firebase cli so make sure that firebase cli is already installed once it is installed in your computer you have to run the command firebase login and once you are logged in you have to come back here on the root directory you have to type firebase in it press enter it will initialize it now it is asking some questions so you can link it with your github repository as well that will make it automated so whenever you make changes and push it it will automatically deploy it but for now i will just select uh, this option hosting uh, hosting press space and it will select that option and press enter here it is asking if you want to create a new project or existing one i will use the existing project so press enter now it is uh, asking select a default firebase project so there is only one project in uh, in that so just press enter and now it is asking that uh, what do you want to use as your public directory by default it would pick the public directory but i want to use the out directory because we know that our uh, generated files are inside the out directory press enter now it is asking configure as a single page app rewrite all urls to index.html so this will uh, rewrite our urls so that we could test different pages so press y now for now in this tutorial we don't want to configure any uh, github automated builds and deploy so just press n and now it is confirming that there is already index.html in that folder do you want to overwrite no i don't want to overwrite okay so it has created these two files firebase uh, rc and firebase.json if you go to the firebase.json you will see all of the configuration that we have defined all right now it's time to deploy it run the command firebase deploy press end all right it has deployed our project and this is the console url for our project and this is the project url if you click on that the project should be opened all right i hard reloaded that and i can see that the blog has been uploaded to our firebase best hosting if you click on any of these articles it will open those pages and you can see the pretty urls are also working the only problem is that the images are not loaded so that's because it, we have the implementation of the optimization for the images and that happens only on the server as this is a static website and that's why we cannot have that kind of thing so we have to disable the optimization so in order to fix this missing images error we have to add another option here and uh, we have to add the image images property and then we will have to add a property unoptimized is equal to true so in this way it will not try to optimize the images uh, on server now let's build it again okay the project has been built now it's time to redeploy the, this to the firebase so just run the command firebase deploy again and once it is done we will test it again so let's go back to the website here and refresh the website and this time you are able to see all of the images are working perfectly fine awesome i hope that this video was very useful for you if you think that this really helped this video really helped you then please don't forget to like this video 
and subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon to get notified for my upcoming videos and also please leave your thoughts in the comment section below